Good afternoon. This is a video for HTM113. Um, we are going to talk about reservation. So, reservation is responsible in selling hotel rooms and other services. Overbooking, the term overbooking happens when there are more reservations accepted than the hotel room's available capacity. And then, overbooking is practiced by the hotel to obtain maximum occupancy and safeguard them from cancellations and early departures as well as no-show. The hotel will have a problem of accommodating and assigning rooms to guests, and this malpractice could encourage guest complaints and bring damage to the positive image of the property. So, if you are the front office associate at that time, please do not practice overbooking because eventually, uh, those uh, guests no nga ganahan mo reserve a hotel room will eventually have a negative image no especially if you decline mo siya eventually uh, you will call them you will call them afterwards um telling them nga uh, na cancel the ay ang nag reserve sa imo ha beforehand so uh, do not practice overbooking and then we also have one way to avoid overbooking is to guarantee a reservation. Set specific time on the validity of the reservation made. Always remember na it is good to always have a confirmed reservation or guaranteed reservation so that uh, it is considered sold na ang room nga gibaligyan ni mo. And then we also have a term underbooking which happens when there are so many rooms available and very few reservations are coming into the hotel. So this situation of course when the hotel is not aggressively marketed by the front office associate as well as the marketing and sales department. The systems by which reservations are accepted and blocked can also be a reason for such a dilemma and both exercise can cause loss to the capacity of the hotel to generate revenue. Always remember nga ang generate of revenue sa hotel is ang housekeeping department which means accommodations. So kita nga na sa front office or we always keep in mind ni baligya agyod or market ang hotel. Okay. So we have here types of reservation system. We have uh, manual reservations. So manual reservations from the term itself, they are primitive but effective reservation systems with the use of a combination of cards or charts displayed on a wall. Black dot and room status board commonly called the room rack. Recorded in a reservation book, a ledger or a calendar book or providing a rack for each room. So advantages of using manual reservation. So ang manual reservation is ginagamit sa unang panahon na really pakaayo, um, rampant and use the technology as well as computer and the internet so one using computers are expensive yes the software or the program hardware um, memory cpu bus input devices mouse and keyboard and output devices the printer and monitor and the maintenance of a computer technician in case of a power failure or shortage it would be very difficult to retrieve information at that moment if you are using computer or computerized reservations it takes time to train personnel to operate the computer and once a computer program is damaged, it could affect the other data inside. Um, this is a case-to-case -case basis, no? especially if na ay um, backup system ang hotel, that's fine. But if wala gani siya, then ang manual reservation ang preferred. So we have here wall-mounted reservation chart in the module that I have passed no? sa inyo. How you can see there an example. It is prominently displayed on the wall of the reservations office and it shows the days of the months entry surveys and available types of rooms which indicates that on this date all rooms are available except deluxe and suite rooms room rack reveals individual room numbers in which reservation slips are inserted usually color coded to indicate the type of reservation book so you can see there a big maybe a tarpaulin or a whiteboard no showing a wall mounted reservation chart okay and then the second one, which is what we are uh, using rather uh, in today's era, no, sa atong hotel, we have the computerized reservation. So the marriage of technology and communication has changed so much. Um, the business climate, hotels have developed new ways of accepting reservations. So central reservation service are computer-based 
or a WATS wide area telephone system line which receives and documents reservation for a chain, franchise network, or referral organization. In here, uh, in the module, you can see an example of the software of the reservation system and then we have a form next to it an example of reservation form we are also going to request no our guest always um, be um, updated no kung unsa moy trends hotels for example you now have a computer system you also need to jot down reservation of the guest so that na moy duha ka buok source of information just in case na naay problem so in here you have here confirmation form and then when declining a reservation so there is a possibility a decline sa guest ang reservation even though you are marketing you know, the rooms when denying reservation is very important to inform the guest tactfully the reason for the refusal the soonest possible time. So this is uh, as a side hotel. It would also be best to offer alternative dates when the reservation can be accommodated due to overbooking and then the reservation clerk should show initiative in whatever way to help the guest. Like booking him to another hotel of the same standard as your property. You can either um, refer them to sister hotels no, or sister hotel chains or companies uh, the same sa inyo hang hotel pod. So always be initiative or have that initiative to always help the guests. And then in this way, the guests will always appreciate and remember your kind gesture. Thus, keeping in mind to stay in your hotel when the opportunity comes. And of course, that guest will always look for you. Um, it's because you are very honest and you are helping that guest. Okay? So, we have here types of reservation. We have four. We have regular or ordinary reservation. Confirmed reservation. Cancelled reservation. And the group reservation. Okay. So there are also other types of reservation, but these are common. So the regular ordinary reservation is an agreement where the hotel holds the room until a stated cutoff time, which is usually 6 p.m. So if the guest is not arrived by that time, the room will be given to another guest or those waitlisted guests. No, so always nimo pahibaw on, always nimo pahibaw on ang guest if they are the front office uh, reservationist. No? to always be on time around 6 p.m. which is the stated cut-off time in every hotel. No? Because kung dili siya makaanha, the room might be given to another. Or pwede siya manawag sa hotel uh, to extend the time uh, maybe because na siya other responsibilities no? uh, before makaabot siya sa hotel. So just in case uh, you, the customer or you yourself as a reservationist must have a communication and then the confirmed reservation which is number two is the best reservation no a type of reservation because the terms are verified now so you have the date rate type of accommodation number of guests the deposit required and other details so this type of reservation has been followed up and if the guest fails to arrive the reservation will be cancelled so there are uh, uh, specific no nga mga situations in which um, uh, nabayaran niya o na siya deposit but then there are some cases na di siya kahanha due to an emergency so that's the time na i-cancel ang yung reservation and the money will be given back to the uh, uh, the one who booked no, the reservation and then number three cancelled reservation so this is an agreement in which the hotel holds the room from the guest arrival to check out date so in return the guest assures payment for the room by credit card prepayment or by a company account so say for example naka, naka fix na ka garantia na ang reservation is then eventually uh, wala niyan ha so it's either gi hold niya ang room for guest arrival pero wala niya bot so mabayaran gi niya ang room no and then group reservations so dinaghan siya so group bookings like seminars conferences and other events are usually handled by the sales department in coordination with the reservation section or the front office so agreements like special rate of rooms are specified handling on the blocking of rooms mail arrangements facilities and service required and free registration so um my students know we have already experienced this one the group reservation in which we have a, a tour no inside the Lux hotel in Cagayan de Oro city and 
the sales department, eventually even the human resource department. No, uh, as I have remembered, together with the sales department, they have um. No, no, rather, uh, walay labot ang human. No, it's the sales, the marketing and sales lang to siyang uh, representative. So it's the one who accommodated us. No, uh, when it comes to the the documents and the documents during the tour. No? So yahan ang work. And then the following are methods to guarantee a reservation. So if you are the front office associate, you have here different methods to guarantee a reservation. One is credit card. Uh, advanced deposit, travel agents, corporate account, or in-house voucher. So when we say credit card or debit card, major credit card companies have developed systems by which participating properties can be guaranteed payment for reserved rooms that were left empty by the client deals non-appearance. And then, advanced deposit and advanced deposit guarantee or partial payment requires the guest to remit the property specified amount prior to the guest stay. So the prepayment may be for one night's lodging plus taxes or for the entire stay. So pangayuan ni mo og 50% sa entire nga payment uh, to guarantee the reservation or otherwise you can give the reservation to other people waiting. And then the third one is travel agents. It's now used this frequently by smaller travel agencies because they prefer to use a credit card or advance deposit guarantee whenever possible. Uh, there are instances man good na travel agents um, na iuban scam sa ilaha. So um, therefore, you need to, to uh, resort to the first two option, the options rather, which are the credit card and the advance deposit. And for corporate account under a company, so under corporate guarantee, a corporation or business establishment agrees to accept financial responsibility for any no appearance. Uh, this procedure is often set up in advance when the corporation signs a contract with a hotel. So for example, um, na ay someone from this company and nag reserve sa inyo ha but then wala ka ha before the whole duration of the stay they for example mabayaran to niya okay so through sa iyahang company and then in house voucher this method can be described as a special in house promotion designed to attract valued guests or repeat business or new business it depends no kaning in house voucher because these are only given to those um, customers na valued or meaning loyal no? and then we have the status of reservations number 1 the 6 pm release so reservations are expected that guests will arrive at a certain day and time. So if they arrive before the time of their arrival, they will have the room prepared for them. If they arrive after the time they are expected, the room is released and made available to other guests. So this practice assures the property for full booking as cut-off time is specified. So 6 p.m. lang yun na siya. Ha? So 6 p.m. release. After 6 p.m., mag yapon siya ka What? O siya nag-mention uh, if there are any valid reasons na nung ulahi siya o wala siya ka, ha? then uh, you as a receptionist, you will give the room away. Then we have guaranteed arrival. So this is opposite of the 6 p.m. release. So an arrangement between the guest company or travel agency is made on whether the guest will arrive or not. So payment is already guaranteed to the property. Thus the room block is not released in the duration of the reservation agreed upon. So say for example, na bayara na tanan, um, siguro nag-inform siya no, sa front office na malay siya gamay, uh, dili i-release ang kwarto or ang room. No, so this is kabaliktaran with the 6 p.m. release, and then take or place. So these are offered to regular guests or loyal guests. If they arrive in short notice, a room is checked if it is available. If not, they will be booked another property of the same standard as your hotel. Uh, if and only if overbooked na ang hotel. For VIP or the um, very important person, this type of reservation is properly noted as the front office manager and executive housekeeper. Make sure special arrangements are carried out correctly. An inspection of the room is necessary before the guest's arrival as instructions and guest needs are specified. So for example, uh, VIPs, katung mga dato ni siya, like businessmen, maybe company owners, no? tapos na visit sa inyong hotel, uh, you should know them. No, so that you can call the manager as well as supervisor or housekeeping manager no 
na uh, to make special arrangements for the VIP guests. And then we have tours and groups. So these are reservations more than five rooms. Bigger groups require longer planning. The special procedures, deposits, and other arrangements are required prior to guest arrival. One example of this is our trip to Combira and Cagayan de Oro. Once again, you no. Know, so the Combira is a three-day event. So um, there are so many students you no know, looking for hotel rooms to uh, stay in. So this is an example. And then we have commissionable bookings, so reservations of rooms made by travel agencies, hotel booking agents, and travel organizers on a commis uh, commission basis. Our remarks noted in a logbook to indicate that the bill is commis commissionable. So now, uh, one example that I have for you is our trip in Dinagat. So uh, the reservations there is actually, uh, it has a commission no, sa Moang travel agent. So, uh, it depends because ang among travel agent manggod owns the the place na so uh, sila mo nag own kibali pod sa lugar kung aha may mag check in so therefore um, ilahagi dirit so ang money no or ang ang kwarta nga imo ang gigamit for the the tour that you have made no so katong nga tour dire so dito siya sa travel agency and then going into the types of the charts that we are going to use for reservation, we have conventional chart. In your module, you can see there an example of a conventional chart. So it shows the type of rooms and room number, and its usage is advisable for smaller hotels where rooms are limited. So an example is um, the Morby Suites, um, mga pension houses, no? So this is also a very useful instrument as it indicates the length of stay of the guest. So as a reservation is being blocked, the name of the guest is listed and the length of stay is marked with the use of arrows indicating the arrival date and departure date. And then we have here density control charts intended to present how many and what type of rooms are available. So the rooms are classified into groups of similar types, dates are indicated, and as reservations are made, the number and type of rooms are encircled. To indicate uh, that the reservation has been blocked, the chart starts from the highest count and the number of room to make it easier in determining the next available number. So entries are made in pencil and circles represent a room night and squares for overbooking. So it's different from the control uh, the conventional chart. And then we also have here the stop stop go chart so commonly known as a chart for type or room so it reflects the summary of reservations book days of the month revealing what type of rooms are available in what specific day so here you can see an example there's also a legend in which you're going to put here uh, no standard rooms it's either no superior rooms no deluxe or no suites and then sold out no discounts and black save for a group so it depends on the corresponding number no or dates Okay, so that is on reservation. So I hope that you have learned you know, um, a bit of, of what is the function of the reservations department or the department or uh, it's just an, uh, a part of the front office department. You know? So I'll be showing you again a lecture on reservation in another video and I hope that you will learn and you will enjoy. Thank you. Okay, our next topic for HTM113 is reception. So after reservation is reception. So we have here check-in and check-out procedures. So during the check-in procedures, number one, greeting the guest. So there is no best way to show the guest that you welcome him in your property than greeting him with a smile. So always flash, always rather, flash your beautiful smile. No, even though katulgun mo, gigotom, tanan, whatever, no, always give them your smile and then second is remembering names of loyal guests no so guests would appreciate so much if the desk clerk spells correctly and remembers their name as it shows recognition and importance of their being a client um, always remember that our clients you no know, and customers all want to feel like they belong they are uh, 
they are needed no especially they are the ones providing our sweldo eventually it nakasautel ang imuhag yun is you want to impress the clients and then the third one is pre-prepared registration is checked so this is to certain if guests had made reservations earlier and if there are any messages upon arrival so these are katong na mga reservations no beforehand um dili sila walk in and then we have um present registration card or form with a pen so you're now going to register the guests so the guest then is given a registration form to fill up uh, the registration form is the most important document in the front office it contains all the information about the guest as well as the policies observed by the property it also serves as a proof of business transaction and contract between the guests and the property regular guests need to sign only as information has already been stored on the files unless changes are made VIP registration is usually done in the room as they are supported by the guest services officer who makes sure special accommodation is properly delivered because uh, they need extra security ng mga VIPs na masulun sa hotel. And then you have na room assignment, so record number and registration card and update the computer or room rack by blocking the room. And then establish identification or credit card according to hotel policy or either debit card. So if the guest pays in credit card or debit card, ask for the credit card and verify credit limit. If it is in cash, an amount equivalent to one night stay as deposit is required by most hotels. So uh, there's a difference between credit card and debit card, guys. Ha? So ang credit card is from the bank, no, kung aha ka nag-apply ato, and then the debit card is through vouchers, meaning isulod siya dito sa imuhang ATM, okay? So the bellman is hailed and introduced to the guests and then the key is given or the key card uh, as it takes charge of escorting the guest's room and bringing along his luggage. After showing the features of the room and inquiring of any special request, the bellman bids the guest a pleasant stay. And the desk clerk opens the guest folio and ensures that records have been accurately and completely updated. Always, no, um, we cannot really do um, actual nga performance uh, check-in but um, I will give you exercises on that one so that you will know how to um, input no information sa, uh, about the guest na nisulod sa hotel. If you are the front office associate, no, uh, always learn to update any information given to you by your supervisors or your superiors. And then, we have exceptional registrations. So, number one, we have the walk-ins or same-day reservation guests. And uh, there are guests who would like to check in without any reservations. Meaning, nisulod lang sila dito. Um, it's either uh, nivisit lang sila sa area and hindi ka po sila. Ni, ni check in sila just for the day. And then, uh, wala sila reservation. So, they're going to request or ask no, if there are open uh, mga rooms pa. Uh, this type of guests are potential source of revenue. So nonetheless, extra precautionary measures are required as they could be possible cause of credit fraud or suspicious characters. So a walk-in guest should not be made to feel like a second-class citizen. It is vital, however, to guard the hotel from possible damage to property, interest, and reputation. So always make a background check and ask questions sa to ang walk-ins. But ayaw ka ng personal kanya question because you are going to offend them. And then we have number two claimers. There are guests claiming a reservation. So the situation poses a difficult position when a hotel is fully booked or overbooked. So when checking the arrivals list, check for spelling mistakes and possible reverse family and given names. Like instead of Smith Michael, what was reflected came out to be Michael Smith. Thus, a reservation does not appear in the computer. So it's either a reservationist, um, dili mao pagka input niya, so paglantaw ni mo sa system, wala siya dito. So it's either you need to ask no or verify the information of the reservation. Uh, para walay gubot because some of the claimers mangod um, they claim to have uh, booked no a room but then isa ka halang taon wala dito ng information so you need to be uh, alert no and be mindful about that incident or situation and then we have cancelled reservations this is when a guest informs the front desk that he would like to register an earlier reservation which has been made so this creates a very complicated situation as a problem on as to who erroneously cancelled their reservation has to be traced so kanisha may lisod because na i guess no nga gusto magpa register no 
no? But then, ang um, iyahang reservation is na, na. So, um, question siya o why naka-input na rin to, no? So, uh, the situation is really difficult to settle uh, by you yourselves, no? Only, so you need to ask the help of your superiors. And then, you have the share with. So, when a guest shares a room with another guest. And then joiners, when an additional party joins an already in-house guest, so the clerk must ensure that the joiner is expected and accepted and is also known to the guest. Uh, additional requirements will have to be requested in advance for preparation by the department concerned and adjustments in the folio and billings will have to be amended or updated. And always remember to always think about the security of your guest and ask or call the guest who can send mo join sa room nila. Okay? And then you have here the standard special rates. No, so this rack rate is a relative amount charged to a room which is full and non-discounted. So, however, with the existing competition among hotels, you need to give discounts no, or negotiated rates that have been introduced as middlemen and marketing sectors bargain for special rates from hotels. Mosha gitawag og rack rate. So kung sa usual nga amount sa inyong mga rooms, kinahanglan na po mo yan ay flexibility sa iyahang rate because uh, you have competitors and you need to also give discounts and complementaries. In here, you can see your module standard special rate offerings. Okay. Uh, we have here negotiated rates, on-demand rates, on-demand privilege discounts, upgrades. You have earned and offered complementary, special, specially offered rates, specially offered complementaries, and on-demand complementaries. And in your right, you can see there kung kinsa lang ang pwede hatagan ana niya nga mga uh, special rate offerings. Okay? And then, down, we have here the arrangement name. And then the abbreviations as well as what it includes. So this is during the check-in procedure, you know. So we have here full American plan, room, three meals, usually served with a fixed menu or buffet. So we have here room and board, full board, and full pension. Uh, the term itself you know, shows you nga uh, once mo check-in ka aning a hotel, they will provide you full uh, package. And then you have here for modified American plan and half board, you only have room and two meals, which usually breakfast and dinner. And then we have the demi pension, the Bermuda plan, bed and breakfast, which also give you room and full English or American breakfast. And then for the remaining plan, you have continental plan, European plan, apartments, and room only. They will only serve you with the accommodation but without the food. No. Okay. So, this type of plan, no, depending on the, the type of hotel that you have checked in. So, dili siya tanan. Okay. So, you have here checkout procedures. Uh, the checkout procedure is really much faster compared to the check in procedure because. Um, there are so many things that you're going to do for the check-in, especially if new na siya nga guest. So, for the check-out procedures, your first guest calls front office for check-out. And then, the second one is the desk clerk called Bellman to assist the guest. The Bellman escorts the guest to the desk and the desk clerk greets the guest with a smile. And then, determine guest name and corresponding room number. You secure the registration card, guest folio of the guest, and then you recover key card or the keys. The desk clerk calls outlets for additional vouchers and determine whether or not the guest had a pleasant stay. So, always ask the guest if kumusta niya experience in yung hotel, no? sa inyong servicio, if it's good or not, and then how to improve it. If not, apologize for complaints along immediately or call manager for necessary adjustments or improvements. Total for you and present to guests to depend for verification and signature. If guest disputes charges, make a deduction if authorized or else. Call the manager to investigate further if nasha questions among charges. No, nilipakita ni mo. After receipt of the approved folio, ensure it has been properly signed. Determine settlement method. 
settle account and close for you. So, ang settlement method na ito, they are um, cash or credit or debit card. No? And then, present fully and vouchers and envelope to the guest. Issue departure and clearance slips. Assist in clearing safety deposit box. It na siya gibilin din ito nga importante kaayo. Determine and note any further reservations and thank the guests for staying in the hotel. Okay. So, I have never mentioned here I check the and kung okay na ang room. So, this will happen um, when the bellman is was a guest to the desk. So, after Anna is kwaon niya tanang kuan uh, ang key card no, as well as uh, asking the guest for his or her experience but then ipalingkod sana niya for a bit a minute, 15 minutes or so but then ask niya dirit so or uh, during the time na mingon siya check out gani, kinahanglan ikaw nga front office, you need to also connect and contact the housekeeping department so that they can check no if wala na wala sulod sa room no? if there are anything nga nawala dito you need to charge that sa guest okay so you need to thank the guests for staying in your hotel no always give them your greatest smile and then your room staff to says I think you're all familiar with this now during your bridging in your hang, uh, housekeeping. So for the front office, we have vacant and clean, uh, clean, clean status, and then vacant and clean is available and ready. That the room uh, vacant ready but allocated for arrival on a future date. So waiting inspection is clean by housekeeper but not inspected and released by the supervisor. We have also the term blocks so room allocated for today's arrival. Uh, assigned room temporarily removed from available inventory but not as yet allocated for specific reservation and requires control and then we have pre-registered room checked in to the front office system but guest has not actually arrived and then we have the dirty on change should become dirty uh, by the maid in the room for checkout we have weight room for the housekeeping and terminal hanging room so room left dirty from a previous day for the front office wait room the room uh, vacant dirty but allocated to a guest was arrived before rooms were ready and then we also have the term for the housekeeping pick up the check out bed still made and then dust up room removed from vacant dirty for dusting before reoccupied and then return from uh, out of order for out of order status we have here out of order room place out of order judged and saleable uh, general cleaning for the housekeeping uh, we have low uh, occupancy percent allocation of sections in low occupancy a future block for out of order rooms are sections block for future project work or improvement or innovation and then out of inventory room is not accounted for statistically as it is under renovation or permanent house use um, there are members nor employees nga nagpuyo po inside sa hotel no residential and then we also have occupied clean so occupied stay over occupied and clean we have check in or new bags in terms of housekeeping sleep out or uh, uh, room turned down but not slipped in by guests we have also reverse checked out so the guests checked out but returned and re-registered in the same room out of inventory double locked from without by credit manager and then the security double lock uh, room double locked from without from security upon guest request and then permanent suite so check in vacant we have dirty uh, terms or status they use due out in the morning so occupy dirty bags packed approved late departure uh, refuse service do not disturb in the morning the end sign still showing and double lock in the morning room is still double locked so that means dili paganan magpasinamok ang guest and then for how you house use rather not accounted as occupied and house use room not being cleaned daily for the terms housekeeping so those are some of the terms nor or for room statuses na atong gamiton sa front office no with regards to accommodation so I hope that you have understood and understand um, a bit of an inclination to reception, no? Because reception and the idea niya is just check in and check out. But when you are going to the deeper, daghan kay kang function, and you are just one you, you know, um, It depends upon the the situation. So hotel ngay mong trabaho an puhon, but then if you are to become front office manager or uh, from the bottom level no you need to understand that you have to always 
um, be prompt and alert as well as always think about the security of your guests. So enjoy this video and have a great day.